I can't imagine what it's been like for the two of you having knowing how good the movie is and having to wait years for audiences to see it. So true. I mean, we love the movie, but you never know what an audience is going to do when they watch it. And very fortunately for us, so far, every audience has really embraced the movie the way we thought it would. For, uh, for soon-to-be fans of the movie, I am curious what shot or sequence was the one that both of you said, we are never going to be able to pull this off. Well, I think I, I just about everything in the air scares me half to death, but it didn't scare Tom or Joe. They figured out a way to do it. Joe found a way to get six cameras inside the, the cockpit of an F-18, and they trained the actors for three months in various aircrafts so they could withstand the G-forces. First time we did it, every actor except for Tom threw up and couldn't use one frame of footage except for the stuff on Tom. Uh, so it was very difficult the first time, and Joe and Tom figured out a way to get it right. Yeah, I mean, obviously, the the aerial was a, was a huge part of it. Jerry said at the beginning, he's like, these other actors are never going to make it. I'm just telling you, you know, we've been through this before. And uh, Tom was, you know, determined that it, it was all about preparation, and he was right. So starting them in the Cessna, going to the aerobatics, then to the L-39, that sort of training got them to the point where they all felt confident. And, you know, it's not to say they didn't get sick up there, but... Um, you know, you just can't fake what, what we were, you know, going for it. You, you just, you know, it's, you can't do that on a soundstage. But one G force is your own body weight. So they were pulling five, six times their body weight. Can you imagine that pressing down on you and trying to act and trying to turn on the cameras at the same time? And remember you're making a movie and while you're getting sick at the same time. So it was really brutal on our actors. They were soaking wet when they came down off those, off those flights. Yeah, things I could never do, ever. Not not even in a million years. Um, I think Tom Cruise is a true movie star. He is the goat of action. There's no one like him. For both of you, can you just talk a little bit about working with Tom and just the things that like he does that no one else does in terms of his preparation or the way he treats other people or just anything you want to you know say? Well, it's not it's not just about his character. I mean, obviously, he's got a really strong grasp and perspective on on Maverick, certainly, uh, it being one of the most iconic characters of all time. But he's made 50 movies now, produced a lot of them, and understands how to make a movie, understands every department. Obviously, with this one being a licensed pilot, an aerobatic pilot, he had very specific knowledge about um, how to prepare for it. So, uh, you know, working with Tom, it's a partnership. Um, and he's in it every single day uh, with us, um, figuring it out, problem solving, figuring out where the challenge is going to be, cautioning me, uh, you know, on mistakes he's made before. Um, it's it's just there's nothing like it, um, and uh, it's it's an adventure every single time. Yeah, you know, I think Tom, like Joe said, has made so many movies, and he's worked with some of the best people in the business, great directors, great writers, terrific actors. And he's, he's a sponge, he absorbs it all. He looks forward to going to work in the morning. He loves what he does. That's his life. He loves making movies. And it's so great to have somebody around you that's enthusiastic, wants to do the best. It's a great partner to have, He'll never do better. He's one of the most talented actors, if not the most talented actors in our business. Yeah, um, I, again, I just wanna say congrats. And I loved seeing the Simpson Bruckheimer logo at the beginning of the movie, it made me very happy. Um, thank you both so much for your time. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Steve. Steve.